Welcome to Pack of Ham and another pack collection video. It is time to walk down memory lane. I will explain the jokes and shenanigans of I Belove to Lie, which is a series where it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. The basic concept of I Belove to Lie is that I watch an episode of the Trode series by DGR and I make predictions about it. For each wrong prediction, I eat a bean boozled jelly bean. A joke or shenanigan is anything that I find to really make this series priceless, which encouraged me to make I Belove to Lie Season 2, filled with even more jokes and shenanigans. It could be a little joke that I made, clever editing that I did, something funny in the background, or something that is completely irrelevant to the basic concept of I Beloved a Lie. There are many such types of jokes and shenanigans in DGR's videos and live streams, but they will not be included here if I did not add anything significant of my own to them. I will show the after black things in their own video. If you want to control some of my shenanigans for I Belove to Lie Season 3 and possibly beyond if I decide to do so, submit a response to my iSwitches form. If anybody has submitted any responses, you can see them in my iSwitches spreadsheet. So previously we finished with that file. So we'll go through the next 16 files. DGR B8-0. This is an emoticon. As you can see, the B's the glasses, its eyes, nose, open mouth. B8 O. That's me doing it. Ding dong! I belong to lie, left me two problems. The bag does not come with a spinner. Solution is wheel design. Not so bad. Fife and drum. Though I mostly just ever use, almost always just use that drum roll. Takeover of the 8 bit synths. Starts nice and acoustic, ends ugly and electronic. With a nice uh, gradual graduation. I belong to lie, left me E2. Five,
I have a to lie, left me three. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Pack of Valley. I have a to lie, left me E3. So that's going to wrap up this episode. Heart base. And so... I know I kind of messed up the melody at the end there, but I might redo it some time. I bought off to lie. Left me E4. I bought off to lie. Left me E4. Level fears. I bought off to lie. Left me E. It keeps going away. I bought off to lie. Left me E4. Level fears E1. Well, that cut me off. I. Was not paying attention to the time. Well, it was, well, not a bad place to cut off. I lost the light. I lost the light. Left me four level fears one. Hello, my friend. Welcome to Pack Real Hand. Avoided. <laughs> Mr. Bean. <laughs> Light bulb. Episode 3 Actual Good. Part 1. Two videos in one day, part B. Two videos in one day, what? Hmm. There is something that I want to do, a change I want to make. I got to that one in the previous video. Clickbait. BRB. Okay, let's dive right into this episode of... Because of all of the disappointment in the previous video... video because of all of the disappointment in the previous video, I had to put the word clickbait in the title. Why did I not go to Proto Bowl, which was the last thing I did on my channel before I have a lot to lie? Why did I not go back to the impossible quiz? Why do I feel like I need a third question here? I got juice. Got the orange juice. Okay. 
My mother came back from shopping, and she had bought orange juice. Apparently, my father had bought grape juice. My guess is that I saw the grape juice before my mother came, which implies that before the orange juice came. Dave finds soft locks. If there is only one person who will find a soft lock in the level, it'll be Dave. If nobody finds a soft lock in a the level, then that means Dave hasn't played it. <laughs> Dave often finds soft locks in courses, even if the maker hasn't. A soft lock is something in a course that prevents further progress, which would require timing out or restarting. If nobody finds a soft lock in a course, one of three things applies. One, the course is well designed and does not have any soft locks. Two, Dave hasn't played the course, so he hasn't found any of the soft locks in it, but neither have those that have played it. Three, Dave is lucky to clear, or give up on, the course without finding any of the soft locks, and neither have those that have also played it. Nope. I think you can actually get in the pipe and that's where you want to go, I mean, where you have to go. But, uh, in the world. While recording, I did not notice that the spiky meatball destroyed the block just under the lip of the pipe, causing the pipe entry to become impossible. While editing, I showed the spiky meatball destroying the block just under the lip of the pipe, causing the pipe entry to become impossible. I put a red arrow next to a big ol' red nope pointing to where the spiky meatball destroys the block just under the lip of the pipe causing the pipe entry to become impossible. Banging and clanging. Ironically, I think the banging and clanging that was in this video is done. And now I've gotten to uh, this, or this, banging and clanging. Anyway. Banging and clanging. The pipe up there was... <laughs> Don't need the spinner anymore. Somebody was banging and clanging in the kitchen. Me talking to my past self? Oh, really? Thank you, Captain Obvious. That wasn't in the script. Pear realization. Okay, this just in. I have a juicy pear now, so all of the other ones were boogers. And I was correct in saying the other ones were boogers. Uh, they're just sourness. The text on the screen is a green color, similar to the color of a juicy pear or booger bean. We're boogers. And I'm there now. Okay, this just in. I have a juicy pear now. So all of the other ones... Much to your mother's dismay. Fact that Melissa gave me. Now, much to your mother's dismay, I have a bag of these for each of you to take home with you. Well. I Beloved to Lie contains moments I find priceless, mostly original to the series. This priceless moment comes from a few years ago. I have a video called Christmas Central where I talk about my Asperger's, but being several years old, may not be entirely relevant. What is still relevant is that I want Christmas stuff to be from Black Friday all the way through December. To prevent anybody from stumbling upon my Christmas videos, they are unlisted on YouTube. 
but listed in the description for Christmas Central. Look for 26 genres of Christmas and beans, or beans and plastic wrap, to find the context for this clip, which includes my first bean boozled, which has a backstory. Earlier in the year, Nana gave Ryan and me buttered popcorn jelly beans, and I saw the description on the bag. I went on Jelly Belly's website to find out if I can find any more descriptions. And I found Bean Boozled. Fast forward to December, Aunt Melissa wants to do Bean Boozled, and I remembered seeing it on Jelly Belly's website. So I decided to do it along with them and record it to put it on my YouTube channel. Colon O. That was it! I, oh, I definitely overcomplicated things there. I briefly tried to mimic Dave's open mouth face. Well, you can see you capping up there. Thank you, capping up there. Thank you, capping up Invisible Mario. Uh, I don't see, I'm guessing that Goomba is not actually on the track and it's not going to go backwards. But then how would he get through? Okay. Thinking it's not on the track. It's in front of the track. And we'll continue that way. Whenever Mario has a power-up and takes damage, such as with a saw, he flashes while being temporarily invincible. I happened to pause the video while Mario was invisible. Did the Goomba move faster? I think right there might be a platform behind it, behind the conveyor belt. Except for this spot here. You remember earlier you saw the Goomba go faster? Vivacious glutes. Look at the striations in his boots. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Looking at it again, it does look like the Goomba moves faster just very close to Mario. Nope, slowing it down and looking carefully, the Goomba does not look faster. I think there is an optical illusion, and I think the Goomba really does not move faster. Garlic toast. Yeah, got the toaster good with those. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're supposed to go down this hole. We have bread. We have a toaster. Dave has a toaster. Do we have part of that garlic and herb cream cheese? I think so. In fact, I looked at the cream cheeses when I was at Freeline and I didn't see the garlic and herb. They didn't have that one. They had the chopped onion. I didn't get that one. Alright, and we don't have any more garlic seasoning. Okay. What I do, we'll find spices to make our own. I'm gonna put kale. Alright. Oh. Pardon. This is. The person that was banging and clanging in the kitchen was making lasagna. We didn't have Texas toast, which we usually have with our lasagna. The bird clock tripped again. We can make our own garlic toast at home by putting bread in the toaster and putting butter and putting garlic seasoning, or putting garlic and herb cream cheese bread, or putting garlic butter on the toast. 
A streamer on Twitch can raid another streamer on Twitch, which means the first streamer and all of their viewers go to the second streamer's stream at the same time. It is an official Twitch feature, so the raided streamer gets notified just like when a viewer follows or subscribes. Small Ant one raided DGR underscore Dave, and the raiders kept requesting to see Dave's toaster. Additionally, we had run out of garlic and herb cream cheese spread. I'm going out of script again. Fun fact, we have some. Right. Now. Click ear. Ear. That says ear. Click ear to see another gap. That's coin. Off screen on the left, there is a B. So it says bear, referring to bearware who is another troll maker. Click ear to see another gag comes from Just For Laughs Gags. Dennis and Marie Pierre used... Why did I trill on the R? In French, the R is guttural. Dennis actually used to S pronounced. Dennis and... Marie-Pierre used to have little arguments about which gag the viewer should click on next at the end of their videos, and Marie-Pierre is known to silence the H in here, producing ear. In a future format of their outros, Dennis kept, tell D Dennis kept telling Marie-Pierre that it's pronounced here, emphasizing the H, but Marie Pierre kept pronouncing it ear. Jump cut intro. Oh, this is part two. Part two, jump cut intro. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Pack of Alham and another part of this episode of the I Bluff the Lie series. I started from my room and made my way to the computer. As I said each word of the intro, I was a little closer to the computer until I was at the computer when I said the name of the series. I think I should have cut the clips a little better so that the result would be more like, Hello, my friends, and less like, Hello, my friends. What is an anti-softlock area? If this is a fake anti softlock area, I'll make it five black beans remaining. If you didn't catch all of that text on the screen, you can pause the video. I had thought that area was an anti softlock area, but it turned out to not be an anti softlock area. Do the coins spell something else? Wait, did. Do rest of these coins spell anything with... Uh. No. Okay. Okay! They actually do. Jimmy H said that fine would turn into psych. Look at the coins carefully. Can you make out psych? You get the ice? Even if they forgot the ice. Oh! That was it! I oh I definitely Oh! That's a priceless sound of a reaction. Oh. oh! That was it! Technical difficulties. Pause. 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 The microphone fell. I tried pausing. You 
YouTube video to tips to say that my microphone fell, but but I caught it. That wasn't positive at first. It, that full screen and oh yeah, I turned on the sound. My microphone fell, it made a loud sound, and I caught it. I tried to pause the video to tell you all that. I clicked the video, which usually pauses it, but the video kept playing. I clicked it so much that it went into full screen. The bird clock chirped again. And I'm saying this more excitedly than I've indicated here because there are periods, there are not bangs. Dots, not exclamation points, marks, symbols, signs, punctuations. Let's get back to the script with part three. Finally paused. CP1. I put text on the screen where I clicked and when the video paused to show the pausing delay problem I have previously described. There was a P on the screen, so I used it as part of finally paused. FLND? Oh, what does it say? F L A? No. N D F. Well, it's just drag. I don't know. This is just like the ear from earlier. Back in 2020, I didn't know what it said. Now I have rewound the video to see that the full word is defend, referring to defender, who is another troll maker. Short side? Short side? 14 minutes, uh, f 14 minutes for a short side? 14 minutes, a little on the short side, so we want to make the video uh, almost 20 minutes. Okay. Dave said that level was a little on the short side. I thought it was pretty long for being on the short side, but I have made videos that have gone way too long. The pink text mentions a series called 60 to 10. I really should work on more 60 to 10 videos, which is where I remake some of my long videos into shorter videos. Perhaps the video will be shortened from 1 hour to only 10 minutes. The Phoenix. If there was ever to be a name for a troll, that one's got to be called the Phoenix. I added the sound effect in the text. The sound effect came directly from Filmora. Dave calls it the Phoenix because the Mecha Koopa in the clown car rises up out of the lava. Naked pipe. Not the worst thing. Naked pipe, that's not the worst thing that's ever been shown on Mario Maker. A naked pipe is when a pipe does not have any blocks on its rear end, which is the opposite end from the lip, which is where Mario would enter or come out of if it is a warp pipe, or where an object can come out of if it is a dispenser pipe. Worst things that have been shown in Mario Maker are two little trees and a tall tree in the background, two snowballs in a snow key, which is a snow pokey, or two pow blocks in the tape pole of the Super Mario World style glowing in a night theme. All of those things resemble a... Confused memes. Not the description of my video. In order to find 
the links he just talked about, you have to click the link to this video in the description, and then go to the description of his video there, that was linked to from my description, and then the description of his video that I uh, Okay, from this video, go to the description, the my description, and the link to this video. And then when you're on this video, this video's description, I'm to click show more, and then the link in that description. Dave said the level code is in the description. I said it was not in the description of my video. Video. Dave said the level code is in the description. I said it was not in the description of my video. The way I started saying how to find it was confusing, so I put a bunch of confused memes on the screen. Limitations of screencast o -matic. Thank you for watching. If you're a smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. And you will see me next time. Until then. I accidentally put it at 11.31 instead of 10.31. I have the correct timestamp here, but I put it on the wrong one there. At first, before I played it, I thought I put it at 1031, but no, it's actually 1131. Limitations of Screencast O Matic. Okay, I have about five minutes or four and a half minutes that I can record with uh, Screencast O Matic, the screen recording. I have the free version. The free version limits 15 minutes at a time, but I can still pause and resume recording, and I can change the size. But the free version limits 15 minutes, and there's a watermark. Well, I don't see the watermark now, but I see the timer. But you, you know, and then me watching it later, there will be a watermark here, but no timer. So, like, limitations. I don't need to make a 15 minute long screen capture. Uh, well, I'll just wrap up the video now. Thank you for watching. If you're a smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. And you will see me next time. Until then. Take care. I had five minutes to spare in the recording, so I decided to use some of that time. I have the free version of Screencast O Matic, which has a 15 minute limit per recording and puts a watermark in the bottom left that becomes visible after saving the recording. I can still pause and resume the recording but I cannot record the computer audio directly without buying the pro version. Alright, that's it for episode 3. And some further thoughts. The, the best way to record the computer audio with audio with screencast o -matic is... this setup. And also, if the screen recorder get there, the screen recording size is too big, my video preview doesn't show up. And I cannot move the my webcam. I can only put it in one place. But if I have not made a, another recording after, I can use the recording and move the cam to another place and save that, which is actually what I did for that clickbait video. Where, yeah, where I had my face cam on one side. 
Now actually, moving the face cam happens after recording, before saving. And after saving, if I don't make another recording, I can save it again. And I can move the webcam to another place and save it again. And that's what I did for the click clickbait video. And if I want to record the computer audio, I can do that. And there is another speaker. The speaker on my left side that I can't move as much. But this one I can, so put the microphone next to that left speaker, and then this speaker right here. You know, the, that left speaker is on this side, and this speaker is on that side. I can... Or for season two, I used Phil Morris Green Recorder. No 15 minute limit. And... And I can record the computer audio directly. But I don't think I will record the audio, computer audio directly. I think I'll do... Or I'll use... For season three, I'll use Phil Morris Screen Recorder, but I'll just... Not com record the computer audio directly. I'll have this here. Why is that? It's so uh, I can talk over the computer audio, and the computer audio will not drown out my voice, and I won't have to... Well, I mean, it'll make editing easier, because I won't have to cut out where... You know, cut out between... Er, I don't have to make cuts or splits around the trolled audio, or whatever the computer audio is, and make that quieter and then have my voice speaking be louder. It would all be in here and make that easier. Now sometimes, and I, and I don't think, and, and I think this also applies to the first video of season two. You know, Filmora's screen recorder annoyed me because there's a problem with pausing, which later in season two didn't happen. Where I didn't cut around the computer audio and make it quieter. And, but you can hear a big difference where my talking is like this. But then when we get to like Dave playing. Hello all my Dave um, DGR maniacs out there. Welcome back to the... You know to be like might be talking and then the... Trolled video audio is a lot louder. I hope that effect works. I have no idea why I was thinking of Brian Hall's intro. So I tried to de -ify it. Mythical has a pretty new podcast. Well, specifically the Mythical Kitchen. Well, they do have a podcast called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. But, but they also have another podcast called Trevor Talks Too Much. Why am I mentioning that? Because I think I am talking too much. I need to do my... Also with Filmora Screen Recorder, I can dynamically, while recording, move my webcam and resize it and stuff. I'm talking too much, I need to do my outro. Thank you for watching. If you're smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. And you'll see me next time. I wonder if I should make 60 to 10 for this series, which I didn't think needed 60 to 10. This fear is being the explanations. I already said my outro, why am I still talking? 15 plus 15, that's 30 plus 10 more? Wow, that's about a 40 minute long video. I just need to end it right now!